so welcome to the show guys um, today I'm gonna make a video on shooting 6x12 um, film on a 4x5 camera and I'm gonna be doing something a little different is what I'm gonna be doing is using six different focal lengths per shot so um, basically a focal length per shot so I'm bringing uh, 72 a 90 a 135 a 180, 240, and 305. So I'm gonna be shooting the Chamonix F1, and I'm gonna be shooting this scene with these trees because it will give a different depth of field and sense to the shot. So for that, I chose this uh, forest, which is next to my house. And that way I, guys, I can show you guys how it looks. It's extremely windy, so excuse if the sound of the wind um is a bit overwhelming i thought it would be much worse but thankfully um inside the forest it's a little more calm at least on the bottom the top of the trees are moving a lot but it's not a big deal um i've loaded uh, some hp5 400 speed film and uh, that will give me a reasonable fast time so the wind won't affect uh the shutter like the vibration so we're going to start with the 72 72 xl guys if you don't know this lens it's pretty amazing covers five by seven and other formats uh smaller formats you can hear that wind but yeah that's basically 72 wide open this is on a receipt board and i use my key to uh, manage the lens so lens uh, focusing cloth and my loop is here I even brought some 4x5 so I can shoot and you guys can see the difference in crop mode so I got two shots on 4x5 that I will tell you guys about so let's start with the 72 I'm gonna be shooting not vertical so horizontal so shifting the back to horizontal Closing my backpack. It's not rainy, but it could rain. The light is not just, it's overcast basically. It's amazing, it's so wide. Everything's pretty much in focus. I'm gonna shift this a little closer. I'm using the standard bellows, just so you guys know. Around the Chamonix. F1, no wide angle bellows here with the 72. It is on a received board. It's like 15 millimeters received. So yeah, that's basically how it looks. I'm gonna be stopping the lens down, all the lenses to F16. So there's some kind of consistency in depth of field and the formats. I wanna make sure that I have some information in the front and in the back. So I'm gonna shift it up a little bit i'm not going to change i'm not going to change anything on the camera between lenses so i want to get something that's in between so that i got the line the horizontal uh, horizon in the middle a bit of trees a bit of floor f16 1 15th of a second so 1 15th of a second f16 as i said i use my car key to stop down the lens, to close the shutter, cock the shutter, and then that would be fine. So now let's put the six by 12 back. These uh, film backs from Horseman uh, are pretty amazing. Six by 12, I'm on shot number one. So first I need to take off my ground glass. Everything's locked. So to take off my ground glass, gotta lift up, there we go. Gotta be careful with this, you don't wanna drop it in the field. Put my six by 12 back on, lock, 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 lock. A lot of people have asked, will this work on the Intrepid? And it will, so you guys can use the Intrepid on a six by 12 back. So now we just have the lenses stopped down, pull the dark side out, 
Okay, so I totally screwed up the first shot. I had it set up at 60th of a second. So what I did is I did four shots. It will be a little shifted, but to see the perspective, it should work. The 90. It's pretty much the same focus as the 72, almost. There we go. Put our dark slide back in. Slide and advance. One, two, got that. Ooh, I brought the 135. I didn't bring a cable release. Will I be able to trigger this? I guess I made a lot more mistakes today than I usually do. Done. I'm one, 135, two, a 180. So let's cock the shutter. It's closed. Let's pull the dark slide out. And now let's shoot. One eighty is out. In comes the Fuji two forty F nine. Small lens. This covers eight by ten, even eleven by fourteen at certain distances. Great lens. One, two, three. And the last shot, which is going to be a three oh five. It's a Schneider. G Claron 305 F9 and shoot. With a longer lens, you gotta really be careful. So that roll's done. Now let me just shoot one four by five at this distance and uh, one four by five with a 72. So you guys can see approximately how much the crop is. Even though it's pretty simple to understand, Maybe some people don't see it so easily. Close the lens, remove the dark side, and shoot. There we go. Four by five, 72 millimeters. Hey guys, as always, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, leave uh, a comment below or find me on social media. Uh, six by 12, uh, different aspects, um, well, different focal lengths on six by 12, one shot per lens. And um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.